Hello, welcome to another Android App Warrior video review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a launcher, or rather unique launcher, called uh, Launcher 7. Launcher 7 is designed to emulate the appearance of Windows Mobile 7. And you might be wondering, why would it want to do that? Well, Windows uh, Mobile 7 has a pretty unique interface that's very simplistic and uses just these tiles on the home screen to to provide you with navigation. And it's basically the opposite of what you normally have on Android, which is very complex with lots of icons and widgets and etc. Some people like simplicity like that, and if you have an Android device, this is one of the better ways to get a really simple interface. What I have right now is a pretty standard layout of Launcher 7. I've gotten rid of two of the double width tiles that were pictures. Don't like the way those look. Uh, they don't they don't really blend in with the rest of the application. And something else I have here is a tile that's showing my contacts. And this is actually linking to a separate application called uh, Windows Phone 7 Contact that that emulates the contact function of Windows Phone 7. That's not part of Launcher 7 and I'm not going to be looking at that today. This in essence is everything that you're going to be seeing with this launcher but there are a few customization options that you can pick. Boy, We'll go down here to settings or go to add widget to just provide an example. Uh, let's say battery widget, okay? and then make sure the tile background okay current theme color tile size is one by one so create tile and ta-da so this is how you add widgets this is how you add icons all in these tiles so obviously you're not going to be putting as much on a launcher 7 interface as you would on a normal Android interface. But like I said, that's the point. It's all about simplicity. It is it is beautiful in its simplicity. It's quick. If you press this little arrow button here, you get a Windows Phone 7 style list of your applications. Unfortunately, I didn't find that this launcher was entirely bug free during the time that I've used it. I have had a few issues with crashes uh, when going back and forth to the home screen. Uh, let's just see if and you can see they're nice animations too when you when you switch out to different applications. So I'm just going to see if I can replicate the crash issues I was having. Doesn't look like it. It, it may in fact be that they've updated it so that it now works better on my phone. Thunderbolt was a newer phone, so sometimes you have issues with apps at the release of a new device and now it's starting to get older some of the support will be more mature so overall I give this app a 3 out of 4 it's a unique interface it's not going to be for everyone but if you want simplicity or if you just want something that's completely different from your normal interface for Android give this one a shot it's free it's a quick download and it's pretty easy to configure too